I think the reason there is so much intrigue around Hamzat is that you just don't see something like this. You don't see a guy who doesn't even have 10 professional fights. All of a sudden, the UFC wants to book him in there with a Leon Edwards who, uh, who could be fighting for a championship in early 2021. And that just shows that it shows the level of potential that Hamzat has. And speaking to people around him, they say that that potential has always existed. And, and when they think they might be giving him too much, he always comes through and exceeds expectations. And that's because of what he's doing in the gym. This guy legitimately trains regularly with light heavyweights, Alexander Gustafson, Elir Latifi. They know how to push him. He only weighs 170 pounds, you, you know, uh, for, the, for the welterweight division, of course. But those bigger guys, they're good teammates. They know how to push him. So when you when his team sees uh, Hamzat competing against those guys on a regular basis in the gym, they just know what he's capable of in this welterweight division. So obviously he still needs to go out and prove it. But the level of potential, it's it's really hard to compare it to anything else that we've seen in recent years.